Last time on Grades of Our Lives. Tell me about the case, Mr. Bone. I saw Bush uh, grab the case and put it down at Stanish at about 7.30. And the keys in the case? It, it was just kind of assumed. Everyone knows that the, the keys are always there. You tell me everyone knew the keys were in the case? I, I guess so. And what happened next? After I saw Bush put the case down, I didn't see it again. There's a lot of contention over that case, Mr. Bone. I'm just trying to get a sense of who's who. As Anna, Reggie, and Ed complete some light sappy work in the viewing room, the trio is disrupted by loud screaming from down the hall. As the determined trio ushers Lena down the hall to the studio, Paolo, who was extremely agitated, sat down to meet with his most trusted ally and compatriot, Ace. Ace, you are my most trusted ally and compatriot. What do you think? It's a pickle boss. Quite a big one. You are absolutely right. Lena, Reggie, Anna, and Ed enter the studio and see that everything is perfectly fine. You see? Everything's fine. This voice is cold. Chia. Who put the scrim there? There's no other possible explanation. I just wish I could make sense of all of it. Put the pieces back together. Relax, everybody. We are working on a solution. Oh, you're working on a solution? We need it now! No! <laughs> hey! Everybody relax, it's gonna be fine. What do you mean everything's gonna be fine? How are we gonna get them out of there? Wait, are they still in there? Come on, come on, man. Just calm down. Don't 
you tell me to calm down? That's my brother in there. Yo, those are my friends in there. Listen, listen. No yelling. We need to think calmly. How do we get them out? We don't have the keys. The keys were stolen. It was Standish. What? Well, think about it. It happened at the most pivotal point in Sappy's history and the most infamous building on campus. When we need it the most, who are we at the mercy of? Standish. Standish? Standish! Standish! That's it. We have to go to Standish. All right, you people go to Standish. You go figure out what you can figure out, all right? Are you coming? No, I'm staying here. All right. Bill, Joshka, Bush, Cheese, and Abby, just kidding, Joshka wasn't there, and neither was Abby, rushed from the building to Standish. The original scene of the crime. But I want to make sure that we check every single bathroom, lab room, boiler room, gross room, white room, black room, dark room, wet room, dry room, canteen, park room, monsoon, jet gold room, the whole nine yards, everything. Meanwhile, Anna, Reggie, Ed, and Lena wait helplessly in Studio B, trying not to panic. What are we gonna do? How are we gonna survive? We're gonna die in here! You get off of him! You need to calm down! What the heck, man? If we're gonna survive in here, you can't do that! Oh, well, I'm gonna lose it! Don't lose it! Think about it, and let's maybe I'm playing a little game. A fun game? This isn't a fun game, Anna! Death is not fun! I'm not okay with this! We're gonna die in a TV studio! Okay, don't be silly now. You're not gonna die here, okay? You need to chill out, man. Chill out big time. Hey, uh, guys? Isn't this the case? Tired of having to choose between your health and your taste buds when it comes to soda? Choose no more. Zevia, always zero. Oh, hey, depression. I was wondering when you show up. Listen, I don't really want you in my life anymore. You're not good for me. <laughs> what? I am your black cloud hanging over you, buddy. You can't live your pathetic, worthless life without my constant imposing presence. That's just madness. Same goes for me. You can't live without me either, buddy. Anxiety? You too? You always try me at exactly the wrong times. Without me, you take way too many risks, make way too many friends. You need me. You need us. <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. I'll never get rid of you. Are you sure about that? Who are you? I'm the help you need. With me, you truly can be free from these two. Let's hope we're not as lucky as our friends in Standish Ace. While we wait, would you like to, uh, continue our conversation from earlier? Maybe we'll stumble across a good idea or two. That's a fine thought, Ace. Way to go. Maybe we will have such luck. I mean, what were we speaking of? We were discussing the events that have weighed most heavily on your thoughts. I wouldn't know where to begin. That's exactly where we were. I, I mean, I, I don't know what to tell you, Ace. I, I you know, in, in, in the past, I've, I've gobbled up cases selfishly, and solving crimes has always been my passion, but the problem is I think I've sacrificed everything for it. You mean your relationship with your brother? It's exactly what I mean, Ace. It's exactly what I mean. It's not surprising that this is what's bothering you the most, but it's not true. What do you mean, Ace? The crux of your disparity is that your brother wants to pursue music, but you don't approve, correct? But music takes as much skill as much passion as solving crimes does. You really think so? I know so. I once had to take cello as an elective. Friggin' cello. But you know what I discovered? Music and problem solving are not all that different. All very general. But applicable still. <sighs> Ace, I'm gonna tell you something that I've never told anybody before. But first, you need to promise me that you will never repeat a word of it to a single living soul. You hear me? You have my word, sir. 
I used to be a student filmmaker. What the hell did you just say? It's true. Yeah, I had it on my own original uh, sitcom on campus. You didn't. I know. I know. I know, Ace, and I'm not proud of what I did back then, you know? It was a confused time in my life, honestly. And after a certain number of episodes, I was, I was so, so proud, so full of conceit about what I'd accomplished. One day, I decided to cut class, pack my bags, hop on the train. Off I was to the concrete jungle. Needless to say, it didn't work out too well for me, Ace. All because I pursued the arts, all that humiliation. I wouldn't wish it on anyone, not even my worst enemy, Ace. And to think that my little brother, my little brother, is doing that? Can't believe it. You would say that you were grateful that going through that led you to your true passion, correct? I suppose so, yeah. So either this will lead him to his true passion, or he will succeed. Don't you want him to find what he really loves just as you did? Truth is, Ace, I don't need to find what I truly love. I truly love him, Ace. I truly love my little brother. He was always there. I think the worst of it is over now, at least for a while. I'm filled with confidence. I'm gonna die. Who cares, man? Am I to understand that you don't care you're going to die? <laughs> what does that even mean? What are you laughing at? Is she laughing that I'm gonna die? Some people just have their secrets, I guess. Don't even start with me. I'm not in the mood. She's not starting anything with you. Yes, I was. Why are you picking a fight with him? Because I'm bored. And I have nothing else to do. Do you think that's a good reason to tear my life apart? You've never needed any help doing that. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Who do you think you are? I don't care that you hate me. I don't care that you avoid me. Only because you have no feelings. Wait a minute. Don't bother her. Why don't you take some responsibility? It's not my fault. Why does it have to be anyone's fault? It just happened. And if you're going to blame me, why don't you blame Bill for your little stint in the tropics too, huh? Don't bring that up. You're unbelievable. And you're doing it again. You're throwing it away just like you did our friendship because you're afraid. Well, too bad. I'm not going to cover for you any longer. It's not my fault. You want to destroy your brother. Fine. You want to ruin your life and throw it away. Fine. But don't blame me. I won't let you. It's not my fault. How is it not your fault? I'm graduating early. What? I have a degree. And after I'm gone, how do I know Bill and I won't stay connected anymore? It's been so nice being here together. And how do I know we're just not going to drift away? Again, figuratively, literally, that was kind of a buzzkill, but anyway. How do I know he doesn't want to see me anymore? Oh no, it's happening again! Back to the door. Go. <laughs> I didn't see anything that night except Chiefs leaving five minutes after we discovered that the case was missing. Picked up the case? Yeah. yeah is the case. Tell me what I want to know, Bush. Tell me you took the case, Julia. I don't know about the case. I don't give a standish. No, don't worry about it. You've already been very kind, Junior, helping me choose the case for the keys. department at the College of St. Rose provides the tools and resources needed to prepare students for real-world positions in the field. As a communications major or minor, you get easy access to the high-quality equipment from the department. 
our equipment managers are also a great resource for any assistance with the equipment. Visit the new equipment rental site today at stroes.edu slash comrental to reserve the gear for your next project. At the absolute last minute, the members of Standish arrived and Bush revealed the unlikely culprit of the villainy in the studio, just in case you didn't catch it because it was dark. As the members processed their shock, they wondered if it in fact was not all a dream. Unfortunately, they were about to be rudely awakened. Junior, is that you? N now I can explain. Uh-huh, sure you can, buddy. You shouldn't find it hard to believe. Because I have the answer. Junior is Standish. Well, technically, Standish Junior. Standish is my dad. As the members grappled with this new reality, they realized that they were ready for some answers. So we can all go home now, right? Totally. It was now quite obvious who was to blame for all of Sappy's recent misfortunes. What? This mystery no, now guys. discovered, it was only left to be determined how the situation should be handled. That's it? You guys are just gonna leave? You aren't even gonna ask why I did this? My reasoning for betraying my friends? I'm ready to talk. I can't take it anymore. Just please let me explain. Please, I'm begging you. And so the members went off to... Shalom, Oh, sure. Blame me when you're the ones who come up with this ridiculous nonsense. I'm just trying to make some sense of it. Wait, wait, why does he sound like me? <laughs> I was just thinking. You know, right? We're gonna sort this whole thing out, Junior. It means a whole lot to me. I can finally divulge my skill at being a criminal mastermind. Now, what in the world is this? Oh, excuse us. We're sorry. We didn't know anyone else was in here. And who do you think you are, barging in on me in such a fashion? That's not okay. Who are you, anyway? I happen to be the owner of this building. Thank you very much. Oh, we didn't mean it. Please excuse us. I heard an awful lot of commotion from the other room. Is there something wrong with you? Actually, one of our members scared the daylights out of us. We were about to hold a council to decide what to do with him. Really? How interesting. That sounds like quite the dreadful ordeal. Why don't you let me speak to him? Maybe I can deal with this problem. Well, I wouldn't be opposed to that. Partner, we you here and enjoy the rest of your evening? Yes, of course. Thank you. Good luck, Junior. Thanks, I'm gonna need it. Thanks again for all of this. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Nothing. I mean, you know, anything that happens with all this from now on, it doesn't matter, all right? I know. I was so stupid. I mean, just a bit, but it, look, look, that doesn't matter. Thing to do with Fred. Yeah, I've just got it all worked out. So that'd be a quick fix. Hey, I was, uh, just wanting your plans off for the weekend. What do you care? You know that I do. I, I don't know that, Paolo. I don't know. Maybe it's time that you did. Listen, Reggie, I, I never meant to hurt you. Not on purpose. I know I've done a lot of wrong. I've done a lot of hurt to you. Maybe you just, just give me this one last chance, make it up to you. I don't know. Maybe I could, uh, maybe I could be your brother again. I mean, I had a gig this Saturday. I'd love to.
It's not like I'm gonna be alone here. Yeah, you have all these guys. Oh, oh, uh, not just that. Something, uh, something good happened. Wait. Will it be enough for me to follow you around, encouraging you, being there when you needed me? I need more than enough. I've got to walk away. You haven't even given me enough time to process this. You do all this, you tell me that you love me, and now you're just going to leave. You're saying how this isn't unfair to you. How is this fair to me? I just thought that. You thought that what? I'd shed a tear? Is that the kind of person you think I am? Is that the person that you'd fall in love with? I've had a hard enough time as it is. You haven't had any time. Yeah, right. And you didn't even have the guts to tell me until you finally have an ultimatum and you've stopped it. Forget it, I'm not doing it. Wait, Joshua. No, Bill, I'm done. Wait. I can't do this, Bill, I'm done. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. Don't tell me. Don't say that. Give me more time. I don't want to make that big of a splash in your life, Bill. Explain to me the actual extent of your failure. I tried my best. I couldn't fool them for long enough. You almost exposed our plan and actually necessitated me showing my face. Can you even comprehend the actual amount of damage that this will do to us? Please don't yell at me. You don't know how hard it is being Standish Jr. Knock it off! That's not the point! They weren't supposed to know that I existed, and now they do. This is your fault! Yes, Dad. It is. I'm sorry for ruining the good Sandish name. Can imagine that. And you! You're another one! Where have you been? Work in the room. I certainly saw a lot of chummy chummy. But where are all the results that you promised me? Alright, listen. Your son here did a number on us and we lost a member of our group. We can't continue further until this thing blows over. You have got to be kidding me. No, I'm not kidding you. It had better be soon, Cheese. My patience for your antic is wearing thin. You used it up years ago. Whatever, dude. Whatever. And that was the beginning. Stupid, stupid beginning. Oh, Reggie. How could I have known? How could I have known what I'd done? How could I have known what I had done? Push. You remember when I thought I had an idea? Yes, yes, did that help you? So far, so good.
whole nine yards, everything. Got it. Sappy's in Sappy's history. It happened. Yeah. <laughs> I just miss. <laughs> just miss. If I'm the only one screaming when I say action, I'm gonna be really embarrassed. Well, that is the thought in my head. <laughs> it's where do we begin? What? I don't know where to begin. <laughs> That's exactly where we were. Oh! <laughs> what are we doing? I thought we were starting from the jumping up. No, no, no. Uh, we were getting the other part. That wasn't specified! <laughs> wasn't going to bang with you, and you're like, yeah, yeah I was. Are you picking a fight with him? Because I'm bored, bro. Excuse <laughs> me. Punch me in the nuts. <laughs> Why do we have that on tape? <laughs> I'm worried that Ed and I- I'm Ed. That's not true. Don't even break okay. me! <laughs> You're unbelievable! I forgot what we're saying. Yeah, we're here now. Hang on there. <laughs> Hang on there, partner. Who do you think you are? Hang on there. <laughs> There's that sweet kid of mine. Hold dang on beer ball in a second. Listen here. <laughs> What up? <laughs> okay, stop! That was too real! Hello? Sup? <laughs> Perfect, beautiful. Is that sweat? Please tell me you're so very proud of me. Saturday. I'd love to.